time to rock and roll. Starting off with episode one of Survival Fountain of Youth. Thank you, Norton. All right, so first and foremost, I had played this through whenever we were running the uh, last update. So there were basically two main island groups at that point. My understanding is now we have moved out to another island group. Everything is plain vanilla. With the rig I'm running, we're maxed out on graphics and stuff, but basically we're playing vanilla all the way through. So we're gonna go ahead and start a brand new game. We'll, uh, I don't wanna kill it, so let's go ahead and go with slot three. Slot two, I just can't do that. I have to do slot two. Uh, do we want to skip the intro and tutorial? You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna let that ride because I'm sure a lot of you guys haven't seen this. This has uh, been an early access game. It is, uh, in my opinion, it's pretty phenomenal to be honest with you. Um, so number of uh, feintings till permadeath unlimited tourist. Number of feintings till permadeath six. Ooh, using living water to decrease the penalty. All right, all right, Iron Man, you get one and you're done. Well, let me tell you, this game does not play around. So um, I think we'll go ahead and we'll start it off on six just to see. Do I want to do that? Do I want to stay on, on tours? You know what, I think we're going to run it at six and, and then we're going to die and be mad. That's not what we're all about, right? All right. So then normal all the way through. So we're just basically going to start out on a normal plain vanilla with let everybody see what this is about. my backup power. All right. Well, that was interesting. Backup power supply went crazy for a minute. Sorry about that. And it never fails, right? Now every dog in the house is going crazy too. May have to do some adjustments. Got more drop frames on here than what I normally see. 
Not really liking that. All right, so we've hit our intro. We're gonna go run around the ship real quick. See if we can't get out of here sooner than later. Everybody's sleeping. Snoring. Uh, let's see. What's up this way? Yeah, I ain't liking that. That dude's out. I wonder if I'll be able to get rid of him with fist. Oh. Alright. Alright, it gave me something. That's cool. So block him with the right. Where'd he go? Oh, I do not like this little toad. Dang, I'm it. Come on, man. Die, you little prick. Did not like him at all. That didn't look good. What's up, puppy? It's okay. Chill out. Alright, let's go back here to the captain's quarters and see what we can find back here. I mean, I'm, nothing sketchy about this at all. I'm sure I should be back in here. Okay, blah blah blah. Where am I heading? Ancient artifacts. You can pause that if you want to read it. Lamp it up. And get a book. Expedition log. Landed at some islands. We are looking for the Fountain of Youth. Nothing sketchy about that either. Yeah, this is probably not a great start to the expedition. Ooh. Come on, man, wake up. Everything's on fire. Shipwreck, Guado, map location. All right, cool. Now, here's the trick with this. We have to make a choice, and this is a tough one. You only get to take two items to start, and that's that's uh, really rough. So, with only two items to start off with, we got to make some some hard choices here. This coat generally uh, is something that I would take because, man, that sun will tear you up. Helps with a little bit with the animals too, and they are vicious to start with. Uh, unfortunately, it's going to break in not too long of a period of time. So, for me, generally, the axe and the coat are the way to go. Uh, you got to make your own choices in there. A lot of people love the iron spear. Some people like the knife. The backpack, you know, it's a real pain. We're gonna start out with like almost no freaking inventory space, which sucks. But, at the end of the day, you can make a backpack, which is good. You can deal with a few of these other things from an aspect of making some fire and fishing without too much pain. I mean, it's not immediate, but um, the spear is a nice one. Um, the uh, knife is a nice one, but you can make uh, rudimentary with sewn. The survival kit here would be so nice. Problem is, you don't have a lot 
you don't have a lot of uh, opportunity to repair anything with the iron on it. So that kind of sucks. Um, give me a second. I'm going to drop the frame rate just a bit because I see some some frame rubbish. So we're going to look at, can I adjust that while we're on? Does not... Well, maybe. Let me try and reduce the frame rate a bit. I've never had any droppage on any of the streams. This one... This one, however, has uh, definitely seen about a 6% drop in frame, and I don't like that. Alright. So, coming back over. I think we're going to stick with the navy coat. Because getting sunburn every five seconds really sucks and the iron axe so that we can chop some logs try and work on getting our backpack on as, as absolutely quickly as we possibly can and we'll go from there so we're gonna go ahead and pick those and rolling out Need to make sure I took the right items, because after this, you're hosed. Hosed it is. and rolling. So we've got the couple items that we brought off the ship with us. We're going to go ahead and grab the coconut. Got a... Whoopsies. Oh, scrap. Um, I'm going to see. Do I want to do that? No, I don't. you got to be careful not to grab too much at the very beginning here. That's It's all important, but also it can only be so important, if that makes sense. I'm going to grab some conch shells, food source. We don't want to waste our uh, tools just yet. We're going to work our way up here. Going to go ahead and harvest some coconuts. That's definitely worth it. Do I have what I need to harvest? Ah, I don't. Okay, we got to go get uh, a knife, basically some rock. Which, uh, again, like I said, not going to lie and say it's my first time ever because I have played this through on Isle of the first and the second set of islands. I've never seen the third set that just dropped recently, so that'll be new to all of us. That's where uh, we go from, in this island we go from absolute basic stuff, we'll work our way up to like copper in the next areas, and then from there, the one that I have not seen as of yet, that's where we're going to find, um, oh, that's where we'll find um, iron. So, all right, so we'll go ahead and grab some stone shards. We're going to need that for certain. Uh, a couple of long sticks. How are we doing on inventory since we literally have 
no backpack or anything. Alright. Come up here. Grab some more sticks. Alright. Ah, I'm weighted down too much. it. That's the, the issue with this whole not having a backpack. Um, blah, blah, blah. Go ahead and craft that up. Get some coconut. Definitely in need of that. A knife. It's an absolute must. Eat a little bit. Drink a little bit. Alright, so that gave us a little bit of movement here. Uh, we are going to need some uh, big old leafy plants. It's going to be down here somewhere over the ridge. And I'll tell you, the leafy plants, I'm, I'm not going to lie, this was one of my first epiphanies on this stupid island. They're right here. And there's some over on the, off the other ridge. And I looked and I looked and... Dude, they just were not... I was just not having it. They were not there. I mean, they obviously were. Uh, but I wasn't finding them. Alright, so now let's see what we can do. Definitely need a wooden spear. That's a given. But we gotta have a backpack. So, portable box, which I believe is a backpack at this point, essentially. So we're gonna, gonna make that. Need another one of those leaves. Alright, and I am slower than Christmas right now. Uh, let's see. Blueprints off of that. That's cool, but I need this more. And... Craft. What else can I craft? Maybe to lower my weight a little bit. Gonna have to throw down some of those stones. The torch is huge, I will say. Okay, I gotta be careful not to use up the materials that I'm gonna need for this backpack, because that is absolutely critical. Uh, we need one of those green leaves. So, back down to the beach area here. And this is really where, uh, why I grabbed the coat. The coat will protect you against uh, animals trying to kill you. I mean, it is not perfect by any means. But, it will help. And then on top of that, the sun is just brutal. And it's going to protect against that a lot. Um, because otherwise you end up with sunburn like every five seconds. Like you got to get under a tree every step and it sucks. So we're going to grab the leaf that we need. We're going to go ahead and come back in here to craft the backpack that we need. And that backpack is, is deceiving because it not only expands a little bit in there, but it also makes your weight that you can carry um, better. So, it's going to break in 16.7 days. So you do have to be mindful of that. And things like that have to be uh, rebuilt and repaired and, and things like that. But, that said, you, it's a must. You see right here that it added 10 units of carry weight. And that's huge at this point. There are other things I'd really like to have, but that is just absolutely a must. So we're going to need to make a, a bed at some point um, before it gets too, too bad uh, late-wise. Um, I'm going to go ahead and avoid that for the moment. And we're going to go and make our way down to the cave. And we'll set up the bed there, and then work our way back up. And for now, it's kind of slim picking, so I'm looking for any of the food uh, that I can. Go ahead and craft.
craft that up. Food is already way lighter than I would prefer. Water kind of sucks. Small stick. That opened up a whole lot. Alright. Coming on down. Uh, anything? Nope. Oh. And I don't want to cut these down. That is one uh, thing you got to be really careful of in this game. These trees, they are a non-renewable resource. You cut them down, they're gone. Now you leave them up and the leaves will regen or the coconuts, things like that. Once you cut the tree down, you're done. You, uh, it will never come back. Now there's a time and a place for everything and Quite frankly, there will be a time where you're going to have to slice and dice some of these. Uh, but we're definitely not there right now. And I didn't look to see my weight before I grabbed that, so that was my bad. Uh, how am I doing on weight? It doesn't matter. It's getting dark. I need to get moving here. Um, now, good to understand. These scorpions, they, at this stage in the game, are really no joke. Uh, you don't want to play with them, so I'm not going to. There we go. And they do come back over time, so you got to be mindful of that. But these little ba bad boys, they uh, they kind of blend in. So yeah, we're going. Add some fuel to this fire. Um, take a look, see how are we doing on weight. That's the big thing we got to be really mindful of. We need to build a box. We don't have enough small sticks right now. Don't have enough small sticks, so we're going to have to deal with that. Take a little look at the map here. Okay, so shipwreck is right off the shoreline, can't swim out there so we're going to have to Sweet. I hear you, buddy. I know what time it is. Come here. Come here and say hi. Oh, I understand. It's 8.30. I, uh, I know. You are a Boston alarm clock. You know that? Yes, you are. All right, buddy. You got to give me a little bit of time. Though. We're not done yet. Okay, so we need to get the fire going. No, you can't can't take my hand because I got a plate. That's right. Chill out. All right. We need to get the fire going. So we need some small sticks because I need to make a fire starter. Well, I got two of those actually. Now, this is important to note. So you got a 21% chance of injury. It is what it is. I didn't make it during the daytime. But thank goodness it did not actually hurt me. 
That said, that could have hurt me because it's nighttime and when you work in the dark, if you don't have a torch, you can hurt yourself and it can be serious business if you do. Alright, so we're going to need some leaves because we're going to need to make a temporary bed. We got what we need for that. Uh, that's smoke signal, bed of leaves, yes we do. Whoops, there. Go ahead and make that up. That's pretty important. If you don't rest, fatigue will kill you in this game just as fast as the dang scorpions and all the other crap. Um, Alright, so pile of scrap, I'm not going to get that yet. So can I break that down? I can. Okay. Break that down. I get some six. Sweet. So I need to be looking at a box. That's really going to have to be the next thing since we didn't take any storage with us. Charcoal for mapping which is important as well. Basically everything's important at this point. I just don't have enough of it, if anything, you know? Um, the bed of leaves probably would have been a smarter move. I didn't do it. That's okay. You all right, bud? Yeah, the bed of leaves would have been a much, much smarter move and I made a stupid choice there, so. Uh, whoops. We're gonna put this in sideways for future. I know we're going to be going in here quite often. Alright, so we're going to throw some scorpions. We're going to go ahead and drop our fire starter in there. Drop our spares. Since we are so heavy that we need to keep on us. Since we're so heavy right now, we really need to be mindful of that. Now, I'm not going to make up anything to counteract poison right now. I'm simply going to hope and pray. Uh, that's, that's the method I'm doing. I'm not saying that's the best one, and I'm really not saying you should use it, but that's what I'm using. Hope and pray. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and drop all this in there and get a little shut eye. How are we doing? Yeah, the energy is terrible. Uh, let's go ahead and extinguish this because that is definitely a resource that goes away. Let's confirm that and can we grab these and make a better bed? Maybe. Let's see. Hope so. Better leaves. Oh man, I'm short by a flipping long stick. All right, well, whatever. We're gonna drop you there. Go ahead and place what we've got. I need another long stick, which we can get. And I'm going to take a shortcut, which is probably a terrible idea because I do not have any anti-venom on me. So I hear these freaking things on the ground. I'm just going to try my best. Ah, I knew it. Yep, he bit me. But I didn't get poisoned. I just took a little damage. You could hear them in the back of in the ground of the cave when you're running by, which super sketchy on that. All right, so we need some more long sticks, is what we're after at the, this very moment. We're also going to need some more food. So we're going to come out of here and take a look to the right. I need some food and some long sticks. I uh, hear the dog somewhere. Where is he? Okay, he's up there by the tree. I can see him. 
I don't know if there's ooh, two or one. Yeah, baby. I ain't gonna lie, that, that made my heart move a little bit. It really did. And again, I'm not sure if there's more than that. How are we doing on weight? Um, not too bad, I'm gonna take it. And you notice that time passes while you're doing this. And that's the sketchy part about this. You gotta be careful. Make good decisions. Uh, where is he? Where is this little dude? I heard him. I'm in his territory somewhere. He's pissed. Oh, shit. Not a good idea. Not a good idea. Ah, this guy is no joke. You get him on a spear throw, he's not bad. You don't, and it can be. I've never seen him run away before, but I'm going to take the opportunity. Okay. That kind of hurt. Alright, how are we doing? If we take all of this, we're at 20.6. We're doing that. We're going to take all of this if we can. 26. Okay. So that's about all we can do on this piece. So we're going to go back to the cave. And then we'll come back out and wash, rinse, repeat get some materials back into the cave and then once we've got that kind of set up get the food really not much of a production but get what we can with food and get a little mini base set up here try not to get ourselves poisoned I hear the little dude kind of stay off to the right and hope that I miss them this time. Who no. I thought I was one right there in front of me on the floor. Kind of gave myself a little bit of a scare there. All right, let's go ahead and try and finish this bed up. So the better the bed, the better the rest. And that's very important. You're going to get run into energy issues and whatnot if, if you don't. We need to upgrade this container because then... Oh, I need rope for the upgrade. That's going to have to wait. Because that will make it where the food sources will stay uh, valid much, much longer. Uh, but it is what it is for the moment. So we're going to throw some sticks over. And... I'm going to go ahead and eat this and see how that helps us on our food. Um... Yeah, I know I need to make that. Definitely need to think about that. Okay, we're okay with that. All of that needs to be made. Okay, got it. Rope is definitely going to have to be something that we start aiming for here in just a, a little bit. Eat that. How are we doing? Got the water up. One more in the water will be good. The food is not going to be helped any further by that. So let's grab this for the food. Try and get all this up to where it needs to be. Okay. Seventy-six. I'll take it for right now. Our energy is a little low, a little light, so we're gonna have to be mindful of that. Let's go gather up some more resources. The rope. I've got a uh, good idea of where that was. Uh, it's in the opposite direction of where I'm going right now, but I don't want to get stuck over there in the dark. Just trying to get some food and water resources going real quick. Alright, got it. Um, bow and arrow is probably, I think, one of the best weapons in this whole game. So that's something you want to get going early and fast. Uh, for right now, the spear is going to have to be what I got. But the bow and arrow is coming up on my list. Oh heck. 
so that's not good. Oh shit! Uda, Uda de la Butteria Mataka. I do not like you. I do not like you. We are not friends. Ah, God, I suck at this right now. What's the odds of him turning back around? <sighs> okay. Slow down. Get a shot on him. Or don't miss. Dude, your dinner. Come back. I'm like so hungry. I hear your brother, which isn't good. Finally. That thing bounce off his shell. Yeah, that kind of sounded horrible, but I'm hungry. It is what it is. Insufficient tool durability. Ah, oh, I don't have enough tool durability. That sucks. Ah, oh, that's okay though. We're gonna put him on my shoulders and he's coming back to base camp with me. How's my spear? My spear is broken. That's, that's how my spear is. Well, that's not great. All right, well, we're bringing the turtle back to base. That was overall a pretty successful hunt. Get what we can on the way back. Then we're gonna make up some turtle stew. So as long as we got some fire going, we're going to be all right for some food. Now water, on the other hand, that's a different story. Water goes quick out here. We don't need to make another spear because that's just invaluable. Until we can get all the rope that we need to get a bow. But you got a bow, man. If you're good with a bow, pretty do pretty well. Quite well, actually. So, that right out there is a, was a water collector. So I'm gonna see if I can dismantle it and get what I need. We'll drop you there for a minute. And we're gonna need a another knife. Drop you in there. I don't think there's anything I can do with that wooden spear, but I'm still gonna drop it in there for right now. Tool durability, but it ought to get alright. 40 of that, that's not small, I get it. So we got some meat, we got a tortoise shell. We don't need to cook this meat up. Which means we gotta get the fire going. There's only two hours left on the fuel, which is a problem in this. Come on man, ignite. Thank you. About daggum time. So we need some wood to put on the fire. I guess I'm going to give it some long sticks. I hate to do it. Don't see it as really much of any other choice though. So add some fuel to that fire. we got 14 hours now. We're going to go ahead and craft up some of that. What? Why am I sick? What did I do? 
Arr, I burn myself. Oh, I'm so dumb. Alright, that hurt. I, okay, I gotta handle that. Level 2 burn. Jesus. Like, that's not even a joke. I'm not sure how I pulled that off. That's stupid. Yeah, you don't take care of the burn, you will get infected. And an infection in this game, forget about it. Like, that's worse than almost anything else. So I need some... Nope. Yep. I need these. My guy's getting tired, so... That's going to be bad if I don't get some things going here. Okay. Yep. Yay, it's raining. Um, I can't... Take that bad boy apart. We need to make another one of these. I am out of the... Good leaves. Crap. I really am out of them. So if I sleep on a good bed, it's a possibility, possibility, that my burn will start to come down. We'll extinguish that. See the obstacles there? So basically, uh, this is going to go down, this is going to go down, that's going to come up by sleeping for that number of hours. So push the number of hours out, this is going to be back to 100, we're going to be at this time of day, those are going to be where they are. Uh, let's give it a shot. 35% chance of the body healing, which did not work out to my favor because I'm still at a level 2 burn. Hmm. Alright, well, we're gonna eat some things. Get that up. I'm gonna go get our water up. Alright, so water's where we're 88. So let's go ahead and get this. Done for the water. Wooden shovel, okay, cool. Wooden hammer, alright, that's cool. The bow is a must. Four long sticks and the rope. So, one, two, three, four, and the rope. Oh, stop it. Uh, I don't want to throw. Stop it. It's a nice spear, but I need to use... Ah, oh, you gotta have the workbench. Forgot. Ah, oh, that sucks. I need the workbench. Which takes two rope. Alright. That tells us what we need. We need to be working on some rope. That's okay. That's alright. So we know what we need to do. No one is a big piece of the puzzle. Ah, crap, I just threw that. That's not what I meant to do. Alright, so we're at 99, we're at 100. I'm not going to waste it, but I'll drink it shortly. Um, our health is down a little bit right now. We've got that burn going. What do you mean near death? I'm not near death. Oh, because of the drought. Because coming on shore, you're hurt from the beginning. So we got a 14% chance of this worsening. I'm not going to cry about that. I don't have any tobacco compress. I did max out the food and water, so it's going to help with that. What time of day is it? Uh, midday, it's just raining. Okay. So back to our original plan here. We need to be looking at what we need to do for 
gathering up some additional resources. Containers not quite full, so that's good. I mean, it's going to fill pretty quick, but... There you go. Now we can throw that into our inventory. We got a knife that needs a lot of work. No resources left in the tortoise shell. Alright, so back to it. I'm gonna go ahead and grab these out of here. Drop those back in. Now we are gonna need to make some charcoal so that we can get the map feature going because that's going to be important that said I think we can skip, skip by without that for another day or two maybe um, so let's see what we got um, coming on down I think we're gonna go out this way and down and around so that we don't mess with a scorpion king back there. All right. Nothing going. One of the biggest things about this is that sunburn will kill you, infections will kill you, being wet will kill you, you name it, will kill you. That's pretty much the name of the game. Oh, stupid little dog will kill you because I didn't see him there. He bit me, but it didn't get cut, so that's good. God bless America. That that's that was stupid. I did not hear him there. All right, we got to collect some of these bad boys. That's important, so they can start regening. All right, let's see here. What do you have for me? I uh, definitely need some of these sticks and the tree bark. Got plenty of inventory room to take those right now. Perfect. Problem is with this freaking rain, I can't really see what's underneath my feet right now. Which can be a really bad situation. Weather affects your health. So you've gained a status. Yeah, so I'm starting to get sick. Which is not great. And you can see I'm fully freaking wet from the rain over there. I gotta be so careful back in here. Doing okay there. Um, looking for snakes because they are one of the enemy number ones back here freaking get bit by a snake and then I don't have what I need to fix it and it's game over but I really 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 need to find rope what the hell oh, I got tagged by a spider nope a scorpion okay not great but I'll live Rather be that than a snake or a poisonous spider, honestly. And I'm not sitting here saying that that's great either, but I have to pick them. How am I doing on weight? How am I doing okay there? How am I doing on time? Not great. Alright, I need rope. Rope, 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 rope. 
I am looking for a rope tree. I don't know what it was. Didn't like the sound of it, but. Ooh. I think I liked it better with the rain. Jesus. I hear you. I don't see you, which is what's worse. God bless America. Where's this thing at? Where is he at? Where is he at? Where is he at? There he is. Some bastard. Oh, shoot. No, I did not just flinch. Get away. Oh, I freaking flinched like you wouldn't believe and just threw the spear away like an idiot. That was not a good situation. All right, there, there's the rope. There it is. That's, oh God, yeah. How much will I weigh? Oh, I hear him. I hear him. The snake somewhere in the bushes. Dude, the snakes can, I mean, they, you can see them, but they also do blend in. I mean, it's not, they're not impossible, but they're not just like jumping off the freaking thing to you either. Um, I do not want to run into a boar right now. Oh, shoot. I think he's going to run into me. Ah, oh, that was a snake. Son of a gun. Freaking A, man. That guy got me good. That sucked. All right, well, it is what it is. Can't do anything about it. It uh, did not poison me. The other guy didn't didn't actually cut me, so that's good. Should be figs on some of the some tree around here somewhere. Mm, nope. Let's see what's down in these boxes. Maybe something good. Take bread, man. How am I doing on that, actually? All right, I need to start working my way back to the grotto. So I'm really not at the point of being able to be out here too late at night. Where I can't see what's in front of me. Figs, maybe? No, no figs, no figs. Yeah, no figs. Y'all suck. No coconuts, no figs. Alright, how about down here, maybe? Take that. Coconut. Um, getting a little way down. It's alright, we're gonna... I'm gonna take care of that. All right. So anything I can. That's about all we're gonna be able to do. So it's gonna be a painful. Head back. Still fighting off that burn. How's that doing? Soaked isn't helping anything. Burn's got a 28% chance of getting worse now. That's not great. But we're not dead, so that's positive. Not the fastest start, but not the worst. I'm going to get back, stow this gear, and then be set for some more exploration and expedition on the next run through. All right. Come on. Oh, 
that's just so painful. That's the one bad thing about this one. When you get into this game and uh, you, yeah, that's, that cave is my home. When you get into this game and it's just getting started out, it is so freaking rough. But once you get things rolling, get your first ship, more like a canoe, but whatever, it uh, it really picks up. It, it's really, really cool. Problem is, man, this thing is like everywhere and everything is trying to simply murder you. That's it. That's all there is to it. The whole game just wants to kill you. Which is kind of fun, you know, but also kind of not as fun. All right. So we're going to go ahead, stow some gear. Uh, we definitely want to make up some rope because that is freaking awesome. Um, we're going to be able to make up some food. So all in all, a fantastic, fantastic start. Uh, we do need to absolutely make up the rope. That's a given. Not worried about that yet. This I'm definitely worried about. So I need some of the greens. Do I have any? I do. Sweet. We're going to spin up some rope before we call it. And you can move this out and do more. Now you notice I got a high chance of injury. That's not, not exactly cool. So we want to go and find either one of two things. You either got to go just sleep tonight here, which is actually what I'm going to do. Um, cause I need some gin anyway. There we go. Or you would need to spin up the campfire. One of the two. So let's go ahead and see. Now you'll notice I don't have the risk of hurting myself because it's daylight. And we can make 10 rope. That's worth four hours of our life. And that literally shifted the time by four hours in the game. And that's the part where we were talking about you, you got to be mindful of what it's going to do and make good decisions around it. Because the food in here started to decay and the whole nine yards. So it, uh, it certainly did cost us. This is going to cost us an hour and a half. But then it's going to double the food preservation time in this box. That's that's a, just needs to happen. All right. So now we're going to grab some of that. We want to cook that bad boy up a little bit. And let's see what else. I think we're going to be good with that. Would love to have some more leaves. Just don't have them. Here it comes. All right, so we're gonna roast up some of these bad boys. That's an hour and a half. Don't have anything there. I'm gonna go ahead and make that up because it's important. And we're gonna just hang here for a minute. Go ahead and eat a little bit. Oh, did not mean to use that. That was a boneheaded mistake. That's okay, but I literally hit the wrong button. That kind of sucks. All right, whatever, back to it. Um, so we need to make a bow, which the cool part is you can come over here and hit F, and now you can see the things that our uh, process using that item, which I forgot you can't do this till you get a workbench. So, okay, fine. How do I make a workbench then? Clear the blueprint. And the regular workbench, I need four regular sticks. I think I might have had four in here. Yeah, I got plenty. So, we're gonna 
I'm gonna knock that workbench out and so I guess we'll put that like right here. I don't see why not. Regular workbench. And again, we're gonna make these out long because I know we're gonna be doing some stuff. Although I like the way that looks better, but um, I don't know. I guess we're gonna be here long enough. Let's make it look better. An hour and some change, fine by me, because now we can make, ah, uh, I need freaking long sticks. So now we can make our ranged weapon. That's uber critical. Uh, we're going to need to have a leaf. Do I have one? I do have at least one. That's good. Because that's going to be important. It's going to fall apart in a certain number of days. That just can't be helped. So just kind of be aware of that when we're, when we're making these things. Um, they do have a time... Uh, on them. And then we'll come back over near the fire. Uh, let's see here. Crafting, weapons, wooden arrows. Gonna need some of these leafies. Do we have leafies out here? Uh, let's see. Not on you. Not on you. Not on you. No. And this is where I was saying, you got to be careful because if you went out here and you just chopped down all these trees, right? You'd get some wood that is helpful, there's no doubt. Problem is, you would not get the leaf generation anymore from these trees. So then you've got, you've got to go much further away for the leaves. You're much, much, much smarter. Much smarter just to go ahead and not destroy uh, the generation capabilities that you have. Much smarter not to do that. Dried, uh, I don't have the food dehydrator, otherwise I'd make those. All right, so we need some arrows. How many can I make? 10. I can go out to 13. I'm going to go down to 8 because, I'm, again, resources are finite here. We're definitely going to need another box soon. That is a given. Alright, how are we doing on arrows? We've got 8 arrows right here. Our poor iron axe is starting to show its wear. So we're going to have to go to a uh, regular axe shortly. Uh, kind of sucks, but, you know, that stuff doesn't last forever. Our fire ran out of fuel because I forgot to extinguish it before making that other stuff. And that's where you got to be super careful. I'm going to let him sleep a little extra. Don't get a little hungry, but it's better than running low on the fatigue side of the stuff. Alright, so looks like we're in decent shape there. Just gonna eat that real quick or throw it on the floor because you know who doesn't like meat that's been thrown all over the floor. Uh, how are we doing on a burn? 30? <laughs> Alright, not not great but we'll get to it. Um, okay. We're running real light on water, so we're going to take care of that before we call this, or we'll come back on, forget about it, and then, quite frankly, die of stupidity more than anything else. So let's go ahead and take care of that. Drink some of that. One more just to top it off. That'll help our healing. So, see natural recovery because we've got good food and water going so that just jumped that chance of not getting hosed back up um, okay so the living water 
Where did it go? Oh, I got it on me. So if I use that, we're going to jump our health up. So let's see here. It says living water, recover th uh, 30 on the health bar, 50, well, sorry, 30 on the permanent health reduction, 50 on the health bar, 30 on the water. So I think we're going to save that for just a little while longer. We're going to use it, but I think we're going to save it for just a little bit longer. Um, because we need to, um, we just topped off on water and stuff and I really don't want to waste it. That would, that'd be stupid. Um, do we have any points we can use before we call it? So we don't forget about these bad boys. We don't have any survival points yet. Um, these are critical once we get them. All right, so we just, we did get the bow and arrow. That's going to be awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and put that into slot two. We've got an ax problem. So we're going to have to make a stone ax coming up. We, what else do we need to craft out? So we definitely need to do some mapping uh, that's coming in the next episode. We've got to do the mapping. Uh, Luna belt, that is a really, really nice piece. You can carry uh, more weapons, more spears, things like that. That's going to be nice, but i gotta, got to look at that because it takes rope and we don't want to use the rope up where we should have had something else going. Um, the skin rat, the skin dryer, that's going to be important. Man, there's so much in this game. It's so important. It's been a, been a minute. Um, portable leaf bed. Okay. Carry some water with that one. Hollow log, that is huge because then you could actually start storing water, which we can't do yet. Oh, so many things we need to do. All right. So back to it. Um, I am looking at water generation. Ooh, that's new. Yeah, that was not in the game before, just so you know. Uh, my dude is, there's something wrong with him. I just heard him heave and hoe. Uh, hearth pot. There we go. That's what I was looking for. So you got to have a coconut flask before you can do the collector. Um, water distiller, you gotta have a fired pot, that's gonna be a minute. Uh, so this is doable once we get the flask. So where was the flask at? I know we just saw it. So I need a regular coconut. Do I have that? I do. All right, all right. We, we'll, we're going to probably do that before we call it. I know I said I was going to call it a minute ago, but well, I'm not going to yet. Uh, let's see. We'll need. Can I make two of those yet? No, because I only have one of the stupid things. That's all right. Now we're going to come out here, and we're going to try and build that bad boy so that we can get some water going. We need a few sticks, but that's okay. We'll deal with that. All right, so let's get the sticks in there. It's not great, but it's, there's water and, uh, you know, something's better than nothing. Basically it's kind of where that lands right now. Um, let's see the burn is down to a one. So that's good. That thing needs to come on down. Oh, I need freaking wide leaves. Okay, that's all right. Well, I don't remember. If, I don't think I've got any more. Oh, I do. I didn't think I did. So, hopefully we'll get this sucker up and running before we're done. Yes, we will. No, we won't. I need a freaking hammer. you got to be uh, kidding me. Okay, that's fine. What does it take to make a hammer? Um, let's see. That's been a while. Hammer. One of the big branches, one of the small. Okay, I think we've got a big branch. We've got a small. We can do this. Craft up a Helma. Yep. 
sweet. All right. Beautiful. All right, so now that can grab some rainwater for us. It will be able to drink. It's not going to be wonderful, but it's better than not having it at all. We do have a hammer now on hand, so that's going to be helpful. Uh, we've definitely got to make a stone axe. I uh, don't remember what you need for that. Uh, okay, small and a six. So we're going to do that real quick before we drop off because I will forget next time and then we'll be standing here with no axe because the other one will have broken like an idiot. Alright, so we are golden there. That thing's going to break the next time we go out, so I'll put that out. That is going to be useless because basically it's broken. Um, do I want to, I want to destroy it really. Wouldn't disappear 10 minutes. Yeah. Waste 10 minutes destroying it, but at least then I'm not sitting there staring at it every time I walk in the daggum cave house. Okay. So we're getting to a good start. Not, not a bad place here. Next time we come in, we're going to need to really focus on continuing to gather resources continuing to get this flipping sunburn gone um, but we gotta continue to gather up the resources start mapping um, and basically work towards being able to make our first little boat but all in all not a bad first episode uh, this has been uh, the survival fountain of youth. Uh, it's still still in an earlier access run. Uh, this I've been I played this thing uh, back when it was just a demo, and then again at every release. And I got to tell you that the devs just done a fabulous job on this game. It's uh, engaging. The storyline is really really interesting. Everything is trying to kill you at every freaking turn. Uh, but overall, I think it's it's really a fun one and uh, really worth your time. So if you haven't, you should check this thing out. Drop the devs some love because I will tell you uh, it is impressive as the day is long. Uh, the depth of this game, especially for what it is off of Steam, well worth it. So uh, it's been real. It's been real fun. Y'all have a good night out there. Talk to you soon. Peace out, Girl Scout.